All right, so boom, last episode, Kenpachi, he won Which his one? match. He won his match <laughs> against the female Kenpachi. Okay, there we go. We yeah. still don't know his sword's name. And then Ichigo and them went to go fight these nobodies from Kingdom Hearts, but they have like teeth, like <laughs> mouths on their eyes, right? And then Ichigo got kicked off and sent packing, sent his ass back home. That's how I remember it, unless you remember it differently. No, that was a great recap. I was really enthralled in your tale. I genuinely <laughs> don't remember what happens next from this point. Um, yeah, Ichigo has been sent home. Oetsu, his name is Oetsu. Mm. Uh, he gave some hints about why Ichigo was having trouble getting chosen by an Asauchi. So we're just going to learn more about Ichigo in this episode, presumably. And yeah, looking forward to uh, what that brings. Y'all already know what to do. Stick your tongue out and bonkai that like button. Get to got 10 show with your asshole on that like button. And, uh, you know, all our links is in the description. Follow my social media and the Patreon and all that. You ready, bro? I'm ready. Right. What? Mm. それは死神と残白刀の関係における根源であり根幹。but everyone is given one of those shitty swords and then they are like imprinted upon by the soul reapers and ichigo wasn't mm. i see damn that's crazy damn i hope the next opening is equally as fire I give it a 7.5. What? I give this like an eight and a half. I would listen to this if it's on, and I have like searched it to listen to it because I think it's good, but it's not one where I'd listen to multiple times in a row. If oh, that makes sense. I see. Bro, this shit is so good. Pretty good. I'll give it an eight. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All I know is the ending theme is such a bippity boo bop. <laughs> this shit is so cool, bro. They've probably got one person who just does the title cards. <laughs> they fucking sent me packing. Ikumis. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Unagi. Oh shit, daddy's here. Hey. <laughs> you thought you were just gonna run away from me? <laughs> she can't see him. Mm. Queen shit. Bro, I don't give a fuck what anybody says. This shit is OD. <laughs> this shit is so good. Oh. It's the perfect time to be watching it too. Give me all the information. <laughs> Damn, he looks clean. Hell yeah, he does. Damn. And then he never came back. <laughs> Damn, she was a fucking baddie back then, bro. God damn, fucking baddie. That's back then? Oh, you're right. I'm stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this guy. Okay, so this is after Shinji and that had been made. Visors already. The eyes have just been plotting and fucking up the Soul Society for like hundreds of years. <laughs> with his experiments on hollows and shit. <laughs> Pretty crazy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, for real. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Why are Quincy parents such assholes? Ah! Nigga, bro. Ryuken looks great as well. He's got. He sure does. He looks like. A big drip. 
<laughs> he looks like Uri. <laughs> <laughs> Who would want to be happy? Never mind. Maybe he wasn't a jerk back then. <laughs> oh, she wants it. Oh, she wanted the Ryu, you know what I'm saying? She wanted that dragon. Was it 623P? Six, two, three, yes. If you know, you know. Yeah, yeah, if you know, you know. Ooh! Oh, what Ooh, the Jesus fuck? Christ. Hey, yo, mm. excuse me. That looks like, um, does that not look like Ichigo? Ichigo's mask? Yeah, kind of. Yo, was that uh because of Aizen? Did Aizen create that shit? I assume that's why they showed him previously. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. If I could sense massive spiritual pressures, I wouldn't be running towards them. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? If you don't get Are you trolling? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> this is what you get. Yeah. <laughs> you don't see them ba battling? He's like, hey, yo, let me give you a report. <laughs> get your fucking ass out of here. Damn, he disintegrated this dude, bro. <laughs> Turned him into dust. <laughs> yep. Damn. Oh! What happened to me? Oh! <laughs> Don't underestimate me, you fucking bitch. That was spicy. Hell yeah. Oh, he did it. Oh, God. That was his arm that fell? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh god! Damn, he tanked that. He sure did. <laughs> yeah. Ow. <laughs> mm, tell him the truth. He can. He knows you are Quincy already. Y'all the only ones shooting arrows. The fuck you mean? <laughs> Look at the fucking swag on this guy, bro. Got game. Omoshiroi.死した死神から形作られた炎があえて最も自らと相反する存在であるクインシーを選んだ。その先を。Wait, what? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. Mm -mm. I swear, every time this shit kicks on, all is forgiven. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is that Uryu? Yeah. This show was too fucking good, bro. Gosh, what did we even start this episode off with? Ichigo ran away, and then we had that whole thing with him being depressed, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Usually um, is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and then we had a pretty much just the backstory on Ishin. So him being Squad Ten captain, I think we already knew that he was a captain. I don't know if we specifically knew Squad Ten, but yeah, he had Lieutenant uh, Matsumoto Rangiku. Mm -hmm. And then guy was his third seat. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's really cool. Uh, what are your thoughts on that stuff? 
I thought that shit was fucking fire. I love me a good backstory. I very much so like that. I like seeing characters when they're younger. I like when they bring up shit from prior to what we watched. You know what I'm saying? Like yep. the stuff from before when Bleach started. Like I love that shit. When things be like come full circle, especially since it's Bleach, it makes it that much better. Like coming full circle and seeing Ishin doing his duties and then fighting that hollow shit. Let me I'm not even gonna jump ahead. I'm gonna let you hit your list. Then the next thing was uh Eisen has been behind bloody everything. Uh I think the first ever thing, like chronologically maybe, we saw was Shinji and the visors happening. Mm. And then there was also the incident with Kai and Shiba where he made a hollow that could destroy Zampak Toes. Mm-hmm. And then he was also had some stuff in the academy with Renji and Momo where he made like invisible hollows. Mm-hmm. So he's been doing holification experiments for a very long time, which ultimately led up to the Esparta um, and all that stuff. But here we see, I believe he called a white, the hollow, another experiment that just happened to fuck with Ishin. So what do you th- think about that? That shit is fucking crazy. And Sosuke Aizen is the goddamn goat. I don't care what anybody says. Sosuke Aizen is peak pinnacle villain. First of all, his name is godlike. His character yeah. model is godlike. Everything about Sosuke Aizen is godlike. The planning. Everything that he's been doing. And then the fact that we, like you said, we see what he's been doing prior to all of that shit. And he made something so powerful that the arm fell and crushed the building. Like, and then, what do you mean he chose a Quincy? What the fuck does that mean? What does that mean? Mm. Did, is he like, did he like jump in her? Like, what the fuck happened? You know what I'm saying? Did he die? Did he disintegrate? What What do you mean he chose a Quincy? Like what? I need more information, and I feel like when they were about to give us the information, they hit us with the. Daddy. Mm. There was some interesting information given in the episode. Ishin, when he was fighting White, he said uh, that he's fighting like a Shinigami, mm. uh, but he's a Hollow. Mm. And then when the Hollow like used a Zero on that Shinigami mm. and destroyed him, mm. Ishin said that he's getting stronger as he. Eats absorbs okay. yeah something like that so he's not just a normal hollow i mean obviously aizen has done something and made him have some bullshit powers mm. so he it seemed like he was absorbing shinigami and learning or something mm. and now he's reached his final state and he chose a quincy for whatever purpose so yeah there should be some interesting explanations in the next episode about how this all comes full circle Mm -hmm. the other crazy thing is like how the kurosakis and the ishida are like intertwined together you know what i'm saying because like of of uriu and ichigo's like backstory and how they became friends and shit like that it's crazy that the amount of stuff that uriu knows that he doesn't know that ichigo's mom used to live with his father you know what i'm saying mm. that's crazy that he doesn't yeah. even know that like she had i'm sure there was a big connection unless they fucking exiled her and like you know was like get the fuck out of here because she healed ishin or maybe ishin fell in love and was like yo come with me and then they was like yo we're gonna just erase her information but it's crazy how he didn't know that you know everything about quincy's and didn't know about mas masaki and then the, the final thing we saw on the episode was uh i think his name's hush wealth approaching Uryu. I, I don't necessarily have any any thoughts yet, but it looks like he's being recruited. So I don't have any like I don't know. To me that wasn't even like it, it was it was a cool reveal, but I I'm ready to see what the fruits are. Cause it was just two seconds. Yeah. Like I'm still digesting everything else that happened in the episode. So that to me at first glance just looks like he's being recruited by Yuha Baha. So Yeah. But yeah, yeah, man, fire fucking episode, bro. Fire episode. And I want to thank y'all because this shit's been blowing up for us. So I appreciate everything y'all been doing. Thank you for watching it with us. Thank you for checking out the Patreon and watching the uncut version. Yes, that was a plug. And I threw that shit in there very smooth. Like, you know what I'm saying? So thank you for doing all that. Thank you for the support. And I'm ready for next episode, bro. Next episode is going to fucking clap. That shit is going to bang. That shit is going to get you good. Ten show that like button like y'all about to do. So, unless you have any final thoughts, Sean, <laughs> we're going to let y'all go. Don't forget to check everything in the description, Patreon and all that. Join the social media. We'll see you in the next one. <laughs>